I want to elaborate on something, something I said last Friday. Last Friday, I recorded a vlog where I talked about needing and wanting and how your decision making could make you happy. Now, I got a lot of questions about something I said in the video. I said that discipline meant you're punishing yourself and you shouldn't want that to do. And uh, that is something I totally agree upon. I mean, discipline is coming from the situation where you had to take disciplinary measures or in plain English, where you had to punish someone for their behavior. So stating that we need discipline in our lives in order to achieve things is totally the opposite of what I believe is far more effective. We need motivation. And when we, when, when are we motivated? I mean, what happens then? That is when we want something. If you feel you need the discipline to achieve what you want, how is that happening? I mean, if you need discipline, you say you are punishing your good behavior. For example, you want to start your own business for whatever reason. You, you're without a job or you, know, you just want to start your own business. I don't care. I don't care what it is. But first, you think you need a business plan. It's something you don't know how to make that or write that, but you still think that you know you need to start with your business, make a business plan. So you feel the need to have the discipline to get up at 9 a.m., grab a cup of coffee, open up your laptop, and you start writing your business plan. But day after day, you realize that you can't because you don't have the discipline, right? Because you don't feel like it. Sounds plausible? Well, I'm not surprised that it doesn't work like that. If you can't have the discipline to achieve that, you are passionate about the work you're going to do as a business owner. But writing a business plan, that's out of your comfort zone because you don't know how to do that. So there you are, with your second cup of coffee that day, staring at a blank screen. You're punishing yourself. Punishing yourself for the thing you think you would need to have to do to do the things right. But in the end, you, know, you, you end up feeling crap about yourself because you couldn't even find the discipline to make it happen. Loser. No, it's not helpful, discipline. Now, now, what would happen if we change some mindset here? You want to start your new business. You have found the motivation to go for that, right? Now, what do you want to achieve with your business? What drives you? And do you need a business plan for achieving that? You do? Well, cool. Go write one because, you know, you want to. Not because you think or you have been told you need to. Don't know how to do that? Well, you know, but you still want it? You'll figure out a way because you want it. So instead of punishing yourself with your behavior and not succeeding in getting what you want, you're feeling motivated and you find the creative solution to solve your problem or your problems. You know, and it, it doesn't matter on what subject we're talking about. Here on SeductionDebunk.com, we teach men how to seduce a woman. So if you think you need the discipline to learn whatever it is, you're wrong. You need the motivation to learn. If you're not motivated to learn how to seduce a woman, you won't learn. So ask yourself this question. What do I want and what do I need to do to achieve that? And do I realize that when I do this, I will achieve what I want because you had the right motivation. The discipline to keep doing it isn't discipline anymore. It's motivation because it's something you find valuable to do. And so you do. It's the same as with these videos and these blogs. Do I need discipline? <laughs> no. It's motivation that keeps me doing this. So, I'll see you tomorrow again.